is good. My god. Those heavy attacks definitely have some oomph to them. Oh yeah, we gotta make that dash attack. Make good use of that. Fucking drifting on him. Easy. Damn, that deals good damage too. Apparently, I mean, she died one hit after the dash attack, so feels pretty good to me. Yeah, I still don't understand how we get up there. Oh, wait, can we just jump up there? Am I, a, am I an idiot? I am. Don't you worry. It's just a body part. No big deal. Get wrecked. Uh, that's a bit annoying. God, that deals so much damage. Wait, here's the room where we kind of missed some stuff. We can go up. Oh, we didn't even go to the right either. There's so much we missed. What? I feel like didn't even explore this area at all. Uh, timing on that. They definitely want you to practice that. What is going on here? Snow? Snow world? Oh my god, dude, this game is huge! Where olive trees wither? Like, this is stuff I could have already been accessing, too. What do you got? Heart of the Virtuous Pain. Oh! Well, we should have gotten this a long time ago. <clears throat> so we get longer block duration. We also get longer exposed duration. I suppose that one has a, you know, it's not a terrible trade-off. God, do I go up into the snowy world? Or do we continue on the blue path? I mean, I feel like there can't be too much more blue, right? Might as well finish it up. Or we'll be in the same situation of having to come back for it. <clears throat> My guess is uh, these down here are going to be quickie dead ends. Yeah, it doesn't even look like we can actually go down here. Oh my god, that's so fucking cool. Oh, that's incredibly gory. It is pretty gratuitous. Oh, there's an item over there. How do I get to you? Oh yeah, there's another little floaty ember thing. Hmm. I guess we'll mark it. We'll put a little gem there. Because we need to come back. That looks like certain death. That probably don't drop down there. Alright, we're looking pretty good at knocking out the blue area. Then we can go Go through the snow. Just keeping an eye on the time. 
That's the tied up old dude. Our roads and faults become intertwined. Avoid the difficulty that the miracle layeth in front of my bare feet. Probably don't go over those spikes, buddy. Oh my god. That thing looks terrifying. Oh wait, we fought that before. Just kidding. I think we only fought one, though. I wonder how this game would be if enemies could knock you off platforms. The voice acting, actually, they just added that. Uh, they just patched it very recently to have Spanish. But I'm playing in Spanish because the game was written in Spanish and then translated to English. So Spanish is like the true language of the game. It's amazing, though, that it didn't launch with Spanish. Little toe made of limestone. Yeah, no, it's it's really cool. Uh, increases dodge distance. I feel like that might fucking kill me, but I'll give it a shot. I mean, there's a lot of very clear, like, Spanish religious influence, Catholicism. Yeah, I don't know if I like this dodge distance thing. This is going to fucking kill me. I'm going to slide into a spot that I don't want to be in, so let's get rid of that, honestly. Yeah, the Spanish definitely feels right. I'm like, does this make me like a weeb? Even worse. Does he have anything to say about me opening that? Go with the father. Will do. Yeah, I've actually, I'm curious how good the English voice acting is because the Spanish voice acting has, has been pretty good. Bridge of the Three Cavalries. To Ares un weeb. Fucking rip. Oh, is this the, the bridge that you need to kill all the bosses to open the door? Nos observa rígida desde lo alto. Encuentra a los santos rojos caprichosos son. Yeah, we need to kill the third boss, which is probably an ice world. Now I'm regretting taking off the dodging thing. Yeah, it looks like we've covered just about everything else, honestly. Except for this area here. There's a shortcut here. This area I don't remember what we needed. I mean we're probably we're probably getting there, honestly. Which is great. This game feels very uh very tightly made. Not a bunch of extra bloated bullshit. The sound design is so fucking good. Just the juicy kill sounds. And even just like the hitting the shield sounds so good. Oh my god. And that shield dropping as the enemy dies. It's just all the little things put together. Makes it sound quite nice. All right, we're we're at uh, where olive trees wither in the snow. Go figure. 
Some free shit. The radius. Well, this is inviting. This dude's voice is fucking awesome, too. It does sound very badass in Spanish. I said it was written in Spanish and then and then translated to English so that's how it's meant to be only cold gold can carry the redeeming oil let's get this man his oil enemy recolor it's not quite what I would expect Um, he thinks there's death down here. He still thinks it's death down there. Oh, more free shit. Is that like a hole in the center? What is that? Incense garlic. Oh, it's not. It's a rock in the foreground. I thought it was a hole. It's really messing with me. White as bone and very hard to find. Its intense aroma, reminiscent of sandalwood, is only noticeable on rainy days, betraying its hiding place. It was sought after by the herbalists with the best sense of smell for its miraculous properties. Damn, we fucking bopped him. Oh, this guy's different. He's not a recolor. He's whipping himself. The other guys didn't whip themselves, I don't think. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Well, thread the needle on that one. It's a bit of an embarrassment. God, just the little last the last little cherub that drops me my sword and then he kind of whips it to the side. It's it's so well animated. There's just something really snappy about it. This feels real good. Alright, let's make our way up here. And with the fucking buster sword. I don't know, maybe this guy does act the same as the, uh, the guy in the other area. But he's blue, he's different. Whoops, that's not the right button. I guess we'll check over here really quick. See how far we can make it. Oh my god. Man, it feels like I'm not going to be able to get to, to any of that stuff over there. Oh god. <laughs> I thought we were far enough over. Just really wanted to appreciate that sword grab animation. One more time. Quick itch. Apologies about that. Alright, let's make sure we get our... our corpse back. Yeah, I don't think those other guys... They're slightly different. They work very similar to the enemies in the other area. But the enemies in the other area definitely didn't whip themselves.
There we go. That's what I was trying to do the whole time. It's so weird. You can't use your map when you're stuck in the wall. But you can do it when you're hanging on edges. Basically like picking up uh picking up your souls. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's It's very religious. You can feel the uh religious overtones everywhere. It's cool though. Oh my god, I'm getting fucking bodied. I wonder if that can hit them when they're in the ground. No. Okay. It's not that simple. Never seen that enemy before. Alright, not too crazy. Holy fuck. That was really well animated too, just say. I don't want to make remarks about someone bursting in flames looking really cool, but it kind of did. Uh, this area kind of just screws this guy over. God, that's so cool. Yeah, I was getting real sick of pixel art. In all these indie games until this. Is there a purpose to be here? Guess not. Guess not. Um, up or down? Up or down? High road, low road. Okay, there's no spikes or anything down here. That's always a good sign. Ma'am, could you could you maybe not? But we're in a kind of a bad spot here. Yeah, we got rid of one of them. really want to get rid of her let's uh let's not die here Jesus Christ we barely got the heal off I have you remains of Tentudia's hair Ooh. why do we want this thorn hairs of the no novice Tentudia we're isolated from the rest so she cannot what I don't know what that's for, but it's for something. Oh my God, I don't think there's a purpose in going down below. Very nice. Graveyard of the Peaks. Y'all got any of them altars though, please. Oh, is this a wind mechanic that I was feeling a moment ago? Oh, yes. Give me. Shop. We don't really have too much cash, but we can check it out. Soft white, oh, a torn bridal ribbon. Soft white ribbon used during marriage ceremonies. It's been torn, thus destroying its delicate embroideries. One of three remains. Of an unfinished hair. Oh, that's gonna be what we need to uh, bring that big hairball. Calcified eye of the erudition. Its stony scrutiny reveals the vital essence of enemies. I don't know what that means, but I kind of want it. And this one is Ember of the Holy Cremation. Tempers the heart, increasing the defenses of whoever carries it. That sounds really good, but it costs 5,000. Um, do I want the eye? I don't know what this does even. Let's just get the bridal thing. 
That means we only have one more piece of the of the wedding to collect. I'm not sure. There was another shop. God, I can't believe it's not marked. We'll mark it with... Let's do the person. I can't believe the shops aren't marked. Because I don't remember where the other shop was now. Pretty simple stuff. And I don't know where any of this shit's going to take me. Another knot of rosary rope. Wait, are we like outside the map right now? What? It wasn't marked and now it is. Interesting. God, there's shit everywhere. Immaculate bead. Um, Simple bead devoid of purpose. When something's devoid of purpose, that sets off a lot of red flags of stuff not being devoid of purpose. <laughs> Me thinks it has some kind of purpose somewhere along the way. I guess we'll check the... Oh, this goes down. I don't know why I thought it went up. Yeah, right? Something, something, Amulet and Dark Souls. Oh, weird. That's not where I expected this to take me, but... Okay. <laughs> I guess I just have to accept it. Man, I really wish I knew where that other shop was. Or is this it here? I don't even remember what half the shit that I marked is. No, that's not the shop. Was this the shop? No, or did I make this? I think I made this marking a mistake. I don't fucking know. I don't remember if the shop had anything I even wanted. Well, thankfully, there's not... There's not as many uh, diverging paths as I had thought. Yeah, we came across a shop earlier that had different things. I'm curious as to where that was. Oh yeah, we got the wind mechanics. It's not super intense. That's interesting. I'm sure that enemy design means something to someone. Okay, our reach isn't that good. Wow, it feels so weird. Jumping with the wind. Ugh. Please don't fucking murder me. Very nice. Yeah, maybe they are flexing their, their Dark Souls inspiration. They're saying it, do it actually doesn't do anything. Hmm. The paths are diverging again. Oh my god. I don't think that was an intended interaction, but we live because of it. We definitely warped up the wall. Oh my lord, the wind! It's throwing me off so bad. It's just slight. It's just enough wind to like... To fuck with me. But not enough to be so apparent that... That it's in the front of my mind. Alright, let's wait for this wind to push right and we'll see if we can make this. Easy. Empty bile vessel. Now I've got two that uh, 
I don't remember where we take those. Someone fixes them up for us and lets us get another vessel to to drink from. I don't even know what that is on the right wall. I keep seeing those though. All right, maybe this just connects all the way through. Oh, he's got He's got that back armor. Interesting. Well, at least we learned. We learned something today. Yeah, I think this might connect all the way through. Muted bell. Strangely, one could swear to hear the sl a slight twinkling, tinkling in the presence of strange energies. Slightly protects the wearer from attacks of a magical nature. That's probably better than the poison, at least more applicable. Maybe. I feel like we're gonna see more poison shit than anything else, really. Or more magic shit, excuse me. What is happening right now? I think we've got a bug here. I can still move. Let's... Uh... <laughs> I don't think I can even die. I can't use my bile. I think I'm permanently, infinitely in the air right now. Let's go exit to main menu really quick. <laughs> this is really not good, actually. Uh-oh, indeed. Um, I'm not even in that room anymore, am I? No, I'm not. Hey, we are on the ground, though. If we can get into that next room, maybe dying will fix us. Yeah, a screen transition doesn't doesn't help, but there is an enemy in this room, and there's also that pit. Yeah, we're dead, I think. Are we? Maybe not. I thought there was a pit in this room. What? I'm trying to picture where we are. Oh, there's a this elevator room has a hole in the bottom that we can just fall through. I'm thinking it's a walk off too. Yeah, we're dead. Please fix the game. Uh, this, this, this is real bad. I'm going to have to, uh, I, I guess, whether we like it or not, that's where the, the stream ends here. Yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe relaunch the game? I probably should be wrapping it up anyway, but I'll relaunch the game and see if that fixes it. And that'll let us know if we're coming back to this right away sometime soon or if we have to look for a fix. Let's see what happens. That is definitely bizarre. Okay, Blasphemous. My Steam is being a bitch right now, too. I'm kind of having to launch this in like a really weird way. 
Let's see what happens. If this, like, bricked my game, I'd be pretty damn sad. Tweet at the devs. I'm sure someone else has had this problem before. My guess is it'll be good as new here. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. Game's not broken, thankfully. I would have thought dying would have fixed it, but I guess not. I will play for a little bit more just because I'm having a lot of fun. This game is really, really good. And I don't like usually like enjoy games. Oh, this is not the room I thought it was. That's pretty silly. I thought it was the room with the pit. Wow, you can literally like cancel your attack at any time to block. That is super slick. See, games need to do that more. Like being locked into an animation, it just sucks. You get so many games where like they could be really fun to control, but then the devs just put really weird restrictions on it for, I guess, balancing purposes. Fuck, I don't know why people do what they do sometimes. Like, just maybe make your game feel good to play and then it'll be fun by default. Who'd have thunk? Oh my god, he fucking bodied me. And we had like the execution thing. 